Hey guys, so today I'm on a maintenance site walk, brand new rooftop, never been on it before, even though this is not new equipment, it is a new site walk, and this is just kind of looking at some stuff, and I'm going to give the con uh, customer actually a uh, price on a PM agreement, and uh, whenever I do a site visit, I get up on a rooftop, I like to get model numbers and serial numbers and filters and belts, and then after I do that, then I start really looking into the rooftop and doing my assessment. So I come up on the roof, this is an RTU. You're gonna see my clipboard right on top, but here's an RTU. Looks like a PVC, they've got it set up for a clean out. Um, not a big deal here in Arizona. Little piece of rubber hose on the P-trap, we're good there. You can see a little bit of rust on the bottom, that may be a concern on the bottom of the drain. Here's the Econo filter, you can see the Econo filter's torn a little bit. I'll bring that to the client, let them know. There's also a little bit of hail damage. Let's see this hail damage that's right here. There's very, very minimal hail damage, but it's enough for me to bring it to the customer and let him know that, you know, hey, you get some hail, uh, some hail here, and it's a mouthful, hail here. Looks like a control panel cover left on the roof. Um, here's some of the bigger things. Looks like a newer disconnect, and then they reuse the seal tight. So we got some cracks in the seal tight, or liquid tight. Condensing units came on, or actually a uh, unit came on, and you can see the wiring right there, the rotation wiring, I don't really like that. Uh, a little bit of trash here and there, kind of pick up some of that trash. There's some screws that are on the roof. I appreciate the guy who did this, exhaust fan number one with the belt size. I appreciate that a lot. Come over here and look at another RTU. Looks like we're missing the vent. The little vent right here on the gas, it's a gas heater. So the flue vent cover, it's got that little 45 degree flue vent cover. Same thing, looks like a new disconnect. Seal tight is the original, we got a little bit of cracks. The seal tight, or liquid tight, whatever you call it where you live. Again, not that big a deal, maybe a little bit of hail damage, a little bit of spots, you know, we can clean those out, straighten those out, not a big deal. The tunnel filter looks pretty good. We'll go across the roof. Here's some things that we look for. Screws. I don't really like to see screws on a torch down roof. I don't like to see screws really on e any roof because especially a torch down, it presses in or if you have a rubber membrane roof, I don't like to see that at all. Again, here's a drain line, little rubber hose for the clean out. In Arizona, that's kind of a normal deal. Here you can really see the liquid tight or seal tight beginning to split. Not a big deal. Looks like a newer disconnect, so probably they replaced that disconnect. That's a 240-volt, 30-amp disconnect. Let's see what we got over here. On the nameplate, 240-volt. Uh, looking for minimum ampacity. Can't really find it quickly enough to see. Looks like 250-volt, 187. On that, can't really see what the amp draw is. We'll have to come back to that. Oh, minimum circuit ampacity is 24, maximum is 30, so that disconnect is sized properly. Always look to see if to make sure this disconnect is sized properly or not. Again, here we are, missing that little vent, which is not a big deal. You know, I like to have them on there. I might put a little piece of metal on there. It keeps the rain out. Let the client know. Here we are with, again, some crack seal tight or liquid tight. Looks like an original disconnect. It's got the uh, the number on it, the uh, little plastic nameplate on it that's stuck to it. Not really a big deal here. A lot of finger marks and stuff like that. This looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of a water leak here, maybe. Maybe a water leak, not sure. Let the client know. Filter covers are on. Here we have another Econo screen that's torn. The same basics. It looks like probably because it's always on this side of the coil. All of these units on this side of the coil have a little bit of hail damage, a little bit of pock marks. So that could be an issue with some hail. Maybe straighten them out. Maybe I recommend some uh, coil guards, some hail guards. Again, the same thing. I don't really like seeing this here. It is strapped up. That one is not strapped up. The rotation wires. Get that cleaned up. Let's go over to this side. Now I'm looking for water, and I don't see water anywhere on this roof. So if part of the job is cleaning condenser coils, the customer wants that done, so I'll have to figure out 
you know, how we're gonna get water on the roof. I'll look for a hose bib on the back of the building. Here's that little vent line, this little vent piece of metal, a little 45 degree that comes out on the side and prevents water from coming in. They're aluminum, so they break off real easy over time. This one looks pretty good. But so on those other ones, I might make a little piece of metal or have something made. Here we are with some screws that I recommend that to be picked up and cleaned up. This is a newer unit. So it looks like this one's actually in pretty decent shape. This is a newer unit. What is this one here? This is a 2016. Uh, another exhaust fan here. All in all, you know, the roof is not bad. There's just little things. And those are things that I look for on a sales call. So as you service techs or possibly salesmen or future salesmen are getting on rooftops, um, that's what I look for when I make a sales call. I get model numbers, filters, belts. Um, I do a quick inspection. I don't open up any panels because it's not my equipment. So I don't want to jeopardize anything. But for the most part, and then I do a little video tour like this and I save it to my computer so I can go back and look at it, you know, later on. And uh, then I take lots of pictures. I put everything together in an email. I send it off to the client so that uh, they have uh, model numbers and serial numbers and equipment layout on the roof. And then we're good to go. So I appreciate you coming along with me on this roof walk here. I'm kind of getting bitten up by some mosquitoes. I don't know where the heck the mosquitoes are coming from. They must have water close by. And uh, as always, work safe, be safe. Uh, send your comments to me in, uh, as question form and I'll answer every one. And if you need to get a hold of me direct, you can email me at hvacreeferguy at gmail.com. Uh, as always, I appreciate the following. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I put up a video. And as always, like I said, be good humans. That's the most important. Work safe, be safe, and be good humans. There's the white tanks right there in Phoenix. The white tanks are the mountains on the far west side. You guys have a good one. We'll see you soon.